Hey, what's up? It's Metal Dog. This is my hashtag War Robots Drones video. Today I'm going to be running the Deathwing Aljun with Nucleons. And I'm going to use this discus. And we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. Lost a little bit of health, but those guys are playing pretty aggressive. Got a Loki. Stupid thing. Oh, give me some juice, baby. That green juice, yummy yum. Got him over there? Come on, guys. Sorry, Wick. Not so strong when there isn't six of you. Uh oh. Yeah, freezing them. I can't believe this bot's still alive. Kill me now. All right, so that's a perfect video. Very first one I did. 
to show the strength of that one drone. And we will go over the statistics after we look at the battle and see the results. And I haven't even really tweaked it all that much. I kind of went with just kind of some defaults and I'll explain here in a little bit. So we are back in hangar now, the drone hangar. And this right here is the discus that I used in that last battle. So I won't get into any of the other drones I have. I've got one other discus and then two starter drones. It'd be nice to get one more, maybe a higher tier. That's why I'm entering this contest. So this one right here has two circle slots. On both of them, I have the blue microchip freezer. So enables all the robots weapons to apply freeze. So my nucleons will now freeze, which is great because they are all they're already really nice as is. So I've got two of those freezers. They stack to make it faster. I have this slot here, which is just really the uh, recurrent emergency repair. It's only going to give me 3% repairable durability once I fall below 30%. So I'm only using this one. It's just kind of a default, like I said. Uh, it's because the battery is 18 out of 18, and these other blue chips added up to 16, and I needed two to fill it to 18. So that's the only reason I'm running that one. I could change that. It doesn't really matter to me. And then these triangle slots. Struggling intensifier. This is kind of cool. So for however many seconds it is, maybe five seconds while my last stand is active, I get an extra 10% damage. And then this one here, inhibited intensifier. While I am locked down, that's how I interpret it, I get 5% damage extra. So you got to remember... I'm um, going to show my robot here. So this Deathwing that I'm running, I've been using it for quite some time now. And I've had a lot of luck with it. And I've changed some things on it too, which I'll get into. So it's a Mark II Level 4. It's got a Level 70 Yang Li. I've got some really nice pilot skills on this. I love modules expert um, because my phase shift gives you an extra whatever it is, 1.25 seconds. I forget what it is, but it's a longer phase shift. Uh, the nucleons are also Mark II level four. So that Mark II level four is the sweet spot, in my opinion, for bots and weapons. Do the math. See how it works for the uh, silver upgrades. You'll see what I mean. That level four is the most affordable and the most bang for your buck. So keep that in mind if you uh, don't want to go silver broke. Modules on it. I've got max last stand and two maxed overdrive units. So that right there, those two overdrive units is why this drone works so well. In my opinion, once that overdrive is active, I get that plus 50%. Last stand active, I get another 10, so plus 60%. And while I'm frozen, another 5%. So once those overdrives kick in, I'm going to do some serious damage. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun to play with, even though drones are a little confusing. That's probably the one I feel most comfortable with right now. So there you have it. That's my video. I'd like to thank Islander and Zox for giving us this opportunity. Best of luck to all the contestants 
and I will see you on the battlefield. Thanks, guys.